All right, guys, we've got uh, Sorostis here, and we're going to do our best to break down all the phases. So phase one, you have three uh, things that you need to be doing, and you kind of want to cycle through them. On the far right above him, or just below his health bar, that's when you hit him with a striker. So you absolutely need a striker. Then after a striker, on the f on the, the one to the left of it is hitting into the block, and the one to the left of that is hitting with, or knocking him down, either with a heavy or a special. Okay? And the best way to go about this is really just to cycle just one at a time, um, because if you, uh, for the future phases, you're also going to have to um, only do one at a time. So I would suggest cycling through striker, then knocking him down, hit into the block, and by doing all three kind of in order, you will eventually get them down from 300 charges down to zero. And if you break all three at the same time, then you wound him and you can do massive damage. The thing that I was not doing in here because I was so focused on that is that, and I did, there you go, I knock it down and now he's passively stunned. I can get tons of damage in. Now, what I should also have been doing is just focus on baiting special one. I got hit by a special two and blocking it, I take like half my health in damage. The special one is almost like a the special one from Cosmic Ghost Rider. And then once I get in between the phases here, um, then I have to go ahead and intercept him. You intercept in between the phases, and now you're in phase two. In phase two, you specifically are going to, uh, again, have to do the same thing, but don't do the same ones twice uh, in a row. So there you can see I go ahead and I do the knockdown, and then I do the striker. And then I hit into the block here. So now I'm between block and striker. So I'm going to go ahead, try and go full combo, get the striker off. Now I have to go ahead and hit into the, uh, I, there I get a ha two thirds of the evade. But now my knockdown has refreshed back to 300. So that I'm keeping tabs on everything here. I'm going to go ahead, knock him down. So that's good. Then I can go ahead. After the special one, I can do a one hit. I went, sorry, I messed up my striker. I hit into the block, so I removed the block one, but I didn't get the striker one. So here I can go ahead again, go for the special for the knockdown because that one's going to be disappearing uh, sooner. Go and get the striker that refreshes the middle one, and a knockdown wounds him again. So you want to basically be doing this from like 90% down to 50%. And I'm not the best uh, CGR player out there. I know uh, I'm no Slayer, so uh, you know I'm sure there's. I think later on in the um, fight, uh, like I have to, I end up reviving a couple times. I think only two maybe in this uh, this uh, fight, but uh, I do a pretty good job uh, doing it. And later on, um, so again, we're here and uh, we're here in phase two again. So there, I go for the knockdown. Uh, I go for the, I have to go to the striker. Um, and I, and cycle and, and hitting in the block. So I'm just rotating in between. I'm doing a decent job of getting used to baiting that special one. But if um, really what you got to do is wait for that special one. If you push him to special two, then it's just, you're going to take a lot of damage. You don't want to push to special two or three. And there are a couple times where I'm, uh, I'm so close to getting all three, um, of his like armor is broken that I um I'm so worried about that like here I just got to hit into the I just got to get a striker off and I'll have all three broken but I'm pushing him almost to three bars of power so here I, I'm just gonna go balls to the wall and throw everything that I possibly can at him later on I actually throw a bunch of heavies in a row and I'm getting massive crit damage on the heavies later in the fight but it's really just getting used to um, like you only want to do like one action in a row, um, like later on uh, as well. Like if you hit into the block two times in a row, you're going to, the first one will count, but the second one will increase it again. So you don't want to go two times in a row of the same um, task, we'll say. Uh, so it's always uh, there. We finished off phase two with enough damage. This isn't doing anything. The special two is a waste. Now when that purple phase, I have to back off and do an intercept. But because of the, he was already at three bars of power, there's really nothing that I could do. So here, this is like, uh, so I had already revived once. This will be my second revive here. And 
So, <coughs> excuse me, I have to intercept between the phases. So here I'm just going to do a little combo. We're going to try and back off and get the intercept. And there we go. That's the intercept. Now we're into phase three. So when we're in phase three, then uh, again, same thing. He's going to be at like, it's going to start at 225 instead of 300. But you have to rotate in between them again. It's just rotating. It's not so bad. Bait the heavy. I think he's stun. He, he might be stun immune at a certain point. So you really just have to bait heavies. And in theory, you can attack in after specials. But uh, here, there I go again. Uh, one hit into the block. Then I go for the knockdown here. It refreshes. Now I can just hit into the block a few times in a row. And he is he is um, damaged again. So he's got the passive stun on this particular one. Uh, I think it, it, it the it refreshes faster on this node his his uh, each of his armors, but his armor when he's broken the passive stun lasts longer, so you have more time to do uh, damage. But here, I'm going to do the special three, and then I think I end up going for a bunch of uh, heavies on him as well, and uh, get him in the corner, and you're going to see some big yellow numbers here after the striker. Uh, or maybe it's out on the next one. It could be the next one. I'm going to have to break him one more time. So there, I quickly break the um, the knockdown. Here, I'm going to go ahead and hit, uh, get the striker off. Hit into his block. Back off. I got to do the striker one more time. But I think the my knockdown's going to come back. So I was a little aggressive there, but the knockdown's going to come back. I do get hit by that special one again. And unfortunately, he's back up to like 300 on his hit into the block. So that's not helping me at all. I get clapped again. But there we go. We got Now we got two broken. Now I just got to hit into the block a few times. Get clapped again by the special one, which is just... I just got to get used to it. So I quickly hit into the block. Boom. He is passively stunned again. And I'm actually going to, I think this is where I go in and start doing some massive heavy attacks in the corner here. Look at that, 36k. But then I'm going to go for the special two. And then I think I'm going to hit like triple digits on a few heavies. 69, 149, 175, 220. And we're just get 220 again. So 220 again. I gotta, I'm going to do... Got to do some heavy attacks next time I, I do this one. And when you finally get him down to like his, like maybe it's 5% or so, when he gets to the final phase here, so 5%, you you have to, again, you got to throw the intercept to go in between phases. And the last phase, he is going to be unstoppable and unblockable, but he's going to be losing health. So you just have to back off, let him lose health until he gets down to 1%. So you just wait. And then once he's down to the 1%, once that timer disappears and he's gone down, you just wait for him to turtle up, you hit into his block, and the fight is over. So two hits into the block, and the fight is done. Hopefully that helped. See you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.